First grade, today you're at your tables you'll have some stems and paper for leaves. You have your colored folder which has your hands and your pot and you are going to get a big blue piece of paper. On the big blue piece of paper I'd like you to write your name and your teacher's initial or first grade and your teacher's initial and flip it over. I want you to put it in a diamond shape. Then what you're going to do next is find your flower pot and you're going to cut it out. When you cut something like this out, you want to turn the paper, not the scissors. You can also cut chunks of paper off as you're working on it. And take your time so it looks nice and neat. Remember, this is a gift for your mom for May, for Mother's Day. And we are going to cut this part off. All of these paper scraps today are going to go in the recycle bin. Then what I want you to do is glue it down. So you're going to put glue on the back side of the pot, touching the tip of the glue to the pot to control the amount of glue that comes out. You don't want too much and you don't want it to ooze. Um, this is also thinner paper so it will look all bubbly if you put too much glue on. So then you're going to put the pot on. Then on the plate are some stems. You're going to pick three stems because you traced your hand three times. They don't need to be super long, so you can even take a long one and cut it in half. And then you're going to follow that rule of touching the tip of the paper to the stem and placing the glue on nice and gentle. You can put it on top of the pot. See how right here it looks like the inside? So I'm going to have mine grow out of the pot. You want to spread them out because at the tops of them are going to be our hand flowers. And there's different versions of green in, on your plate, so you can change it up or you can have it all the same. It's up to you. So I got my three stems. I also can make some leaves for those stems. So um, you can make the leaf whatever shape you want, but I make mine like a lemon shape or an eye shape or a football. See there? And I'm going to trim it off. So you can put stems on. Then you're going to put the glue on the pencil side where you drew. And then you're going to stick it to the stem. The next thing that you're going to do, if you have time today, um, is you're going to cut your hands out. Um, if you don't have time today, your hands can remain inside your folder. Um, the hands take a little bit more time and careful um, cutting so that they still look like hands. So you have to turn the paper. You can take little chunks out or you can just keep going. This is all cutting practice. You'll get better at it the more you do it. And the scraps from your hands are also going to go in the recycle bin. that and then I'm going to put that hand at the top of a stem. If you don't like the way that the bottom is you can cut it. I might even do like that. And then I'm going to put glue only on the palm of the hand. In fact I'm going to put it on the side where there's pencil again and I'm just putting it in the middle of the hand. I want my fingers to be loose. Then you're going to put the, the hand on the top of the stem Hold it down until it sticks, and then we're going to curl the fingers forward using our paper manipulation skills, rolling it on a pencil. So each flower will have these curly little petals. After um, class is o when class is over and it's cleanup time, you can put your pictures on the drying rack today. Any of your dry pieces co can go in the folder if we run out of time, um, and scraps go in the recycle bin. All right, let's make our Mother's Day craft. Thank you so much for listening.